Hey there, Team WOG leaders and staff members. I wanted to give you guys a heads up on some big announcements that I'm going to be making this weekend to our church family, and I wanted you to hear it from me here first. So I wanted to start off by giving you an update on some of the things that I've mentioned in the past, and I wanted to let you know kind of where we're at on those. So the first thing I wanted to tell you is that we are actually forming a team that is to beginning uh, working on our jail ministry outreach. And I've actually toured the jail with Chaplain Rick, and I've met with our team WOG director, Jamie, about putting a team together and kind of coordinating with those who have uh, shown interest and that are also currently serving uh, in our jail ministry uh, so far as grading papers and what we're doing now. And uh, we're learning what we need to do in order to put uh, a presentation together to uh, present to the sheriff. So we can learn like kind of what we can do, what we can't do. And so we're going to continue to pursue that and work on that. And also um, we're continuing to have conversation about the nursing home, but we're prioritizing the jail ministry over that first. And we're going to continue to build both of these in the future. Um, also, we're making progress with our new worship pastor hire. Uh, thank you for being in prayer about that. Uh, we're actually meeting with the consulting firm this Thursday to uh, review seven candidates that they have found that meet our criteria and that want to be here at Word of Grace. And so we're going to look at those and have those conversations and see if we want to interview any of them and be praying for us as we are making decisions about onboarding those. And we'll give you more info as we have it and we'll just keep you up to date as well as the rest of the church family. I want to talk to you for just a second about Easter. On Easter weekend, we saw 14 people get baptized and 811 of us in attendance here and around two to 300 people uh, at our best guesstimate joined us live online. And we just want to say thank you for everyone who served. I know that Easter weekend is a little bit bigger ask for us uh, because we had the service and there's just a lot more moving parts. So thank you for all of you who made adjustments, for all of you who served. You did it well and with excellence. So thank you so much for serving. This was actually the largest attendance that we have ever had in our church's 32-year history. And over a thousand people heard the gospel message clearly this weekend, uh, this past weekend. And it was very exciting. And it just reiterates the fact that God is moving here in a radical way. And we've been seeing people come to Christ weekly. We have been seeing people um, just who thought they knew God get to know the real God to the point even to where doing these different studies about how to read the Bible for all it's worth, that there's actually 31 of us as a church family that are going through that. And there's 17 of us reading the Bible through in a year. That's just incredible to see people hungry to study scripture and to want to seek to know the real God more. Um, we're also having people step up into the office of a deacon to help us to expand our care ministry and develop more leaders through our small groups. Uh, and that's an exciting thing to see happen as well. So there are people that are saying yes now. There are people that are stepping up to the plate, and it's incredible to see. Uh, we're making room here because God is asking us to go trust him with bigger things. And we're in this together because we believe that we truly are better together. And you're a part of this. And we're going to say yes now to what God is wanting us to do, what he's leading and guiding us and directing us to do. And for those of you who may have missed the announcement made at the last Team Wog event, I want to officially announce to you that uh, we as a church have acquired 857 Buffalo Street, which is the house right in front of the church, the White House right there on the corner um, that's connected to our property. We own that now. And we're looking to put a tenant in the property, and uh, the end goal with that is we want to turn this into more parking space to make more room to reach more people. And we're going to accomplish this um, through resurfacing the entire parking lot and adding four spaces by 2020, uh, 40 sp parking spaces um, by 2021. We're also in talks uh, about acquiring the property next to 857 Buffalo Street right off of Raymond Drive as well. Um, we want to reface the church also, um, change the exterior, make some aesthetic changes to the church, do some interior updating as well. And we want to have all these things done by 2021. We have some cool visuals that we're going to show everyone this weekend about that. 
Uh, we're also still considering the possibility of adding a kids wing on the south end of the building, but nothing's been confirmed currently, uh, but we are looking at including this possibly in that project. And the whole heart behind this is that we want to make room because God is leading us to trust him for bigger things. And this leads me to the most immediate update that I'm actually the most excited about. And that is that we are going to launch a Monday night service and we're going to do that on August 19th of this year. That's 16 weeks away from this weekend. That's four months away. Now we want to reach those who are working shift work and those who are working in the hospitality industry because it gives more opportunity to reach people that no one is reaching. And so in order to reach people no one is reaching, we've got to be willing to do things that no one else is doing. This also gives more opportunity for families that are faced with choices regarding you know, their child's activity or things that they're involved in or even throughout the summer. And it just helps people to have more opportunity to stay faithful to church community because we believe that attending church as a family is important and so it'll help people to attend connect and serve more on a regular basis because they now will have this other opportunity um, of a weeknight to be able to connect it's also going to reach those that are working those shift work jobs and hospitality jobs because their weekends or their mornings are taken up um, with work and so we'll be able to reach a whole new group of people that are probably going to be unchurched people that's the goal we don't just want to keep shuffling the deck and just you know uh, uh, getting people from other churches but we want to see people that don't go to church, people that don't know Christ, come to our church and find healing, find wholeness, because we will bring the broken home at all cost. And to do that, we're going to reach people no one else is reaching by doing things that no one else is doing. We've also seen a surge in our online as well. There's over a thousand views that our weekend services get every single week. And that's just incredible. And you guys play a part in that. So thank you for that. So we're going to announce this this weekend. And I want you to be equipped uh, if people ask you questions regarding this. And we're going to be looking for new team leaders and new team members to serve in every area to build up this Monday night service. So if you have anyone on your team currently that you think could do scheduling and training, go ahead and tell them. You know, you need to talk to Jamie and, and help uh, make that uh, move so that they can take that initiative to say, yeah, I think this would be a great fit for me to actually lead a team on Monday night. So that way we don't have to keep asking the same people to do more, but we can tap those on the shoulder that may have more capacity or those who yet aren't engaged uh, to be able to serve and to be able to also lead teams uh, as well, because the service is going to be the, the, a full repeat of what we do on Sunday morning. And if people want to serve on Mondays and Sundays, the answer is yes. There would just be two different team leaders that would schedule them uh, for those times, and they would just need to let those people know that they're available to do that. Now, we want to encourage everyone on Team WOG to do this, to serve one and attend one, because we are making room for the people that God is calling to this local church so that their eternity can be impacted with the gospel. Someone made room for you. Someone made room for you to be able to be here, and now it's our turn to actually serve them by, uh, by making room and by saying, yeah, I'll be willing to serve one and attend one. Serve one for the sake of other people. Attend one so that I can myself connect and get fed as well. And I think that that's great because it is about bringing these broken people home and helping them to find hope in Christ alone. Now, I want you to be equipped because I know that people may come to you, ask questions, all those things, and hopefully this helps uh, to do that. And we want to make sure that you are the first to know so you're not caught off guard um, on this weekend as well. So here in this local church body, God is doing big things, and he's asking us to say yes by trusting him to do these bigger things, to make room. And we're going to communicate with you every step of the way because this is a big vision and we're taking big steps to move forward. And one of the ways we can do that is by saying yes now, by being people who are saying yes first, that we want to go ahead and raise our hand and go, yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm optimistic instead of pessimistic. Yeah, we know there'll be challenges. We know there'll be things we have to work through and figure out. And we're doing all of that. We're working on those things now. But the main thing that I ask you to do is to prioritize prayer. Because we want to be a church of prayer. Because Jesus said, my house will be called, my father's house will be called a house of prayer. So we want to prioritize that prayer. Uh, and that's something we can all say yes to now. Maybe there's some other areas where you can say yes now. Um, I know that all of us can park a little further away to make room for people by using the parking on the south end of the building or parking over by the fences or parking on the street. So we can prioritize those guests so that when they drive past the parking lot, they see that there is room for them. They see someone is waiting for them, that you're ready to go, that you're serving, that your people are, 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 are joyful and they're, they're 
connecting with other people. And so we want to prioritize prayer. We want to prioritize saying yes now. And we just want this vision to be stirred in all of us so we can own it and then say, God, what do you want us to do? What's our part? What are we supposed to do? So let's continue to invest in impacting eternity by growing in loving God, loving people, and serving the world together. Thank you guys for watching this. Let's be in prayer. God's going to do some cool things in our church this weekend and stir a lot of people's hearts to do some awesome things by saying yes as we're making room together for reaching more people for Christ.